Suppose you are snapping a picture here and you don't want the background to show, what can you do? So we are going to show you with very simple step, with the help of Windows 10, how you can just remove the background of your image with ease. You do not need to pay people, maybe it could be that you just want to have another background. It could be you don't like people on your background. It could be you need a red background or white background or a transparent background. So we're going to show you with the help of Print 3D that comes with your Windows 10 operating system. So, at one... I'm going to start by showing you two ways in which you can open Paint 3D. Now, to open Paint 3D, you can just click on Start and type Paint 3D. You can see it there on my screen. Just go there and open it that is one of the easiest way and click on new in order for you to have a background for you to do so after clicking on new you will need to locate the image the image in which you want to remove the background okay this is the image we are going to use you could just drag the image and paste there or drag the image and paste on that can see it on my screen alternatively you can as well copy the image and paste it's still the same thing so that is one way now let's get to the second method which we can do the same let's go back to that image um what was the image of okay this is the image you could right click on the image right click right click we know how to right click after you right click, can you see it up here? Edit with Paint 3D. Edit with Paint 3D. You could as well click on that. It will lead you to the same place. So we have seen two ways in which we can do this. So now we have already opened our image with 3D. How do I remove this background so that only my image remains? I will need among the things we have on the screen here I will need this which is called magic select magic select you can see it here you can as well see it at this angle at this part of my screen you can see magic select so in either of the two you can click let me click this for example then it will come up with all these you may need to focus on the area by resizing it to show the magic select that look this is the area i want to concentrate on after which come to the side of your screen can you see my cursor next by your right side of your screen click on next when you click on next automatically as you can see on my screen it has already done the job um you may zoom to see it much clearer to know whether the job is perfect or it needs some adjustment now looking at my image you can see the picture oh it's almost perfect apart from this part it seems that um, it's eating part of my head i have very big head so i don't know why it's eating part of it i, I would say no i'm not I don't accept that so in order for me to do that i would need to come to add add is only selected so we just go there and draw that part See what will happen automatically it add what was missing if i wanted to remove any part that uh, have been added that i don't want i will come to this which is remove and then do the same thing it will remove but now that i am done it seems so good i will come to this place again and click on done you can see done here we'll click on done good oh we have done a beautiful job but the question is uh, what happened it's still looking the same 
if you look it still appears as if it's still on that same background well it's not really so uh, let me show you i'm going to pick the image do you notice one thing that the image now can be removed from the background so we can see that so very simple anybody can do this okay now there are many ways you can go about the remaining part but what we'll do first we are going to copy copy this image you could right click on it and click on copy or you could use your control C to do the same it's still the same thing the next step you will have to bring a cursor to menu menu is at the top top left click on menu when you click on menu we are not yet to save it we are clicking on new can you see new up there click on new that means we want to make a new background free from the former background so that we could choose how our background will be like well here is asking you whether you want to save the former work the one we have done so but i don't want to so i'm coming to the middle and said don't save don't save don't bother because i've already copied now it's giving me an empty new background transparent i will need to paste if either i use ctrl v we well know that or we could just right click and click on paste whatever means you choose it's okay now at this point if you want to do a little more work if you want to change the background you can come to the brushes brushes and you have a color of selection whatever you want to use if you want to change the background you can see it here it will just come here for example fill and you may need to choose the choice background you want to fill and just go there and double click you see the background have changed or you could choose a different background and do the same you could say oh i need a red background you could do the same or you could just say i don't want any of this background all i want is a transparent background a white background a transparent of it so you could leave it white the next step is for you to paste or oh, for you to save sorry now remind you you should remember that what you have done so far so long as you have copied it you can paste it in any environment of your choice take for example you could paste it at your powerpoint you are going to paste it you can see it on your power on my powerpoint where i can resize to suit what i want uh, to resize i'm uh, just picking it up here and resize and i can drop to show that that is what i want so it's a very simple thing we can do you can even drop it at microsoft word it's gonna drop as well you can see it there so you can choose your background or leave it as white as it is so after saving you can as well paste it on your corel draw or you can save it then you import it to corel draw whichever means you choose to it's quite okay well we had to save this in order to save this work we are back to the uh, paint 3d in order to save it we will come back to the menu all right at this point we are coming to save as save as save as click on save as when you click on save as it will give you opportunity to choose whether to make it as an e, e video you want to use uh, save it as a three uh, 3d uh, paint or image we are using image in this instant all right then you will choose a file name for example let's just say down to school beautiful beautiful that's my nickname anyway now you could come to the bottom and save as type and choose the the format to which you would like to use let me just jpeg okay then you will need to save it well you can use this picture at any time anyway with those simple steps you have successfully removed the background and uh, 
you can use the picture for different purposes and you can actually replace the remove background with something else i hope you really follow them the steps oh that was a beautiful video so if that video really merits your time please make sure you subscribe as we see you in our next video thanks so much for love